Automakers come out with new cars all the time, but every so often a vehicle comes out that's meant to redefine a brand. And that's the case with this, the 2022 Lexus NX. This is kind of a hard reboot for the Lexus brand with this vehicle introducing a whole host of new and desirable features and a couple changes to the Lexus identity. So how does the NX reset the Lexus brand? From a design point of view, there's a new take on the polarizing spindle grill and the L badge at the back of the car is gone. In its place sits a Lexus word mark, which is kind of a trend we're seeing across the industry nowadays. There's a turbocharged 2.4 liter engine, the first time we've seen this engine in the Toyota family. And there's a plug-in hybrid powertrain that offers up to 36 miles of range. But most excitedly, finally, 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 the hated trackpad infotainment system is gone. There is a all new and much better infotainment system premiering in the NX that will filter down to the rest of the Lexus range. 2022 NX marries some of yesteryear's powertrain options with one new and exciting setup. Base models will rely on a 2.5 liter four cylinder, good for 203 horsepower. It's shared with the Toyota RAV4 and should be perfectly fine for most folks. If you want more punch though, the optional engine is the way to go. This is the first Lexus product to feature the all new turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder, which packs 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque, allowing the NX350 to scamper to 60 in 6.8 seconds. That's relaxed by the standards of properly sporty competitors like the BMW X3 M40i, which does the deed in a blistering 4.4 seconds, but the new engine is a healthy improvement over the 235 horsepower NX300 on sale today. The exciting news is Lexus's move to electrification. The NX Hybrid carries on, now wearing the NX350H designation, and it gains the performance to account for the change in name. You'll find 239 horsepower here, which is a bump of 45 horsepower over the outgoing NX300H. That extra power slashes the zero to 60 time from 9.1 seconds to 7.2. At the same time, Lexus managed to increase the hybrid's efficiency. So that combined rating climbs from 31 MPG to 36 but we're most excited for Lexus's first plug-in hybrid powertrain. Wearing the NX450H Plus badge, this new offering is the quickest and most powerful NX you can get at the moment. It dispatches 60 miles per hour in just six seconds and can cover up to 36 miles on electric power alone. Lexus is playing coy with the specifics, so we don't know the output of the electric motor or the size of the battery pack, but the company did say recharging on a 240 volt outlet will take just two and a half hours. That's pretty darn brisk. So yes, the spindle grill still remains and it still looks a bit like Predator, but on this F Sport model, you get a gloss black finish that looks pretty neat. There's a new pattern to it, but we actually like the non F Sport, which has more and more intricate detailing. It looks really good. The big news is the F Sport model's standard 20 inch wheels. Now those are two inches bigger than what you get on the current NX and that's kind of a big deal for Lexus. Part of that is because Lexus backed away from the hard edge styling that you see on cars like the IS. The, the creases in the sheet metal are softer and smoother, and it's overall a more attractive vehicle for it. At the back, we have new taillights and a vehicle spanning light bar. And just below that, instead of the traditional Lexus L badge, you get a Lexus word mark. There's also, for the first time, an all wheel drive badge, because you know people need to know that you have all wheel drive. But in my opinion, all this badging makes the back seem just a hair cluttered. Oh yeah, there's one other thing about the side of the car that we didn't mention yet. See these door handles? They aren't really door handles. They hide buttons. Now, yes, I know the thing about the cabin is the new display. That's what everyone wants to know about. We're going to get there, I promise. But for right now, it's worth highlighting the rest of the interior, which adopts a more driver focused layout. This screen is tilted just a smidge towards the driver. There's a high center tunnel, but there's an electric shifter like you get on the Lexus LC Grand Tour. There's a digital instrument cluster and a head up display on this model. And of course, because this is an F Sport, you get the loud in your face, red leather upholstery. The seats are supportive, not as cosseting as say an IS, but they're still pretty darn comfortable. There's a drive mode button right here instead of the goat horns that you see on older Lexuses. And in general, it's a very nice place to hang out. You get these beautiful speaker grills with the Mark Levinson audio system. And the detailing here is very good. There's some plastic, but by and large, Lexus keeps it out of sight. 
So the new driver oriented display, this is a 14 inch screen on this model, a 9.8 inch display is standard, but you're probably gonna wanna upgrade because look at how pretty this is. It includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on all versions. So even if you get the smaller screen, you get that tech. And this is the first Lexus infotainment system designed wholly in North America. That is very exciting. It's built for our market. And in general, you can see some similarities with, with other modern infotainment systems. There is no physical home area. There's just a bank of buttons for different sections over here that you can select. Thankfully, Lexus has not gone entirely virtual. You still have physical controls for the climate settings, for your temperature, for the defroster, and most importantly, for the volume knob. One of the things that Lexus is trying to do here is to replace your smartphone. Now, yes, it has smartphone-like techniques. There is no home button, for example, but it also wants to replace your need for wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto by making its own native systems easier to use. That includes adding a voice assistant. Hey, Lexus. What do you want to do? I want to go for a drive. The 2022 Lexus NX addresses a lot of the issues that we've had with the Lexus brand for a long time. The new infotainment system, the adoption of a plug-in hybrid powertrain, even the revised spindle grille. These are exciting things, but the most exciting is that what you're seeing here on the NX is going to filter down to the broader Lexus range. That is great news. Sales of this model start towards the end of the year and we'll have much more including pricing in the coming months. For now, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, wherever else you get your social media and go to motorone.com for more.